get up there. It's <laughs> full of trucks. Anyway, Keith will be back in shortly. And uh, as you can see, we've got the large pop panel assembled here. We're going to have a look at three videos. Uh, the first of which you've been waiting for several weeks. You might have seen it first on Whistle Test. I've been playing him to death. Uh, they're in the charts at number 21. This is Big Daddy and their version of Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark. I'm just a girl. Hey there, baby, I'm just a girl I think I could use just a little help You can't start a fire You can't start a fire without a spark This gun's for hire Even if we're just dancing in the dark Sit around getting older There's a joke out there and I think it's on me I shake the world off my shoulders Come on baby the laugh's on me Big Daddy and Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark in the charts just outside the 20 at the moment Mark, how do you feel about that one? Well, it's a hit already so that ground's covered um, Stunning I was stunned I prefer Shocked to close stunned. my eyes, really. Hmm? I prefer to close my eyes on that one. You like the song, maybe not the video. Yeah, yeah it's a good song. Okay, Martin. Where was the wrestling? I thought it was going to be Big Daddy the Wrestler. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I dug it, yeah. I yeah. liked it. Good song. Good it's tune. very unusual to have a, a, another version of the song that's already in the charts come in, though, isn't it? That one's completely different, though, isn't it? It's like yeah. a doo-wop uh, treatment of the Bruce Springsteen song. Yeah. Um, Apparently these guys, they got caught in the Korean War, that's their excuse, isn't it? That and was the story, I think they've since admitted it's not completely 25 true. years and they came back to kind of modern yeah. America and uh, they're still doing the old doo-wop. So good. that's their excuse, you know. Right, Wendy, what about you? Yes, I like it. Yeah? It's very cat, yeah. Will you go and buy it? Yes. Will you play it to the kids at your school? Yes, they all great. buy it. Oh good, that's a thumbs up for that one then. Roy, what about you? I'm here, Mike. Yes, I thought it was great. It, uh, it took me back to my youth, actually, the old doo-wop and stuff. I'm not giving any age away, but... Uh, Reminded I could see you in a group like that. Reminded you know? me of the like, well, I'm open to offers. Pity the lads aren't here, I'm sure they'd have signed you up. I'd love to, yes. <laughs> Great, I like it. Smashing. Nick? Yeah, Martin was saying that he thought it was the wrestler. I think, he, I think it was the wrestler that did the video, I think. Yeah, probably direct <laughs> with it. <laughs> That's about the worst video I've ever seen, I think. But the, it's the, the worst song, video you've ever seen. No, 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 no. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit of a sweet. I can't say they have gone back to America, so you're quite safe. Oh, right, it's the worst video I've ever seen. No, it's, um... The song's great. I mean, I prefer Springsteen's version because it's I mean, part of the charm about Springsteen's songs so that there is the energy and the charm behind it. I think both versions are good, actually. Yeah. Anyway, great, Kenny. Yeah, I like the uh, the audaciousness of covering a, a, a Springsteen <coughs> tune. It sort of reminded me, though, of. Um, Pat Boone when he covered Little Richard's Tootie Fruity. Remember what he did? Well, they, they've admitted <laughs> stealing, the, the, stealing the, the beginning bit from Pat Boone's Moody River. Yeah. And also so singing crazy. On a Day Like Today. Da, 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 da. That's Should right. sing a bit later on. That's right. So, so well right. spotted. You're right. absolutely yeah. right. So that's so a reminder of that. Okay, and I don't wish which of you two. You're Melanie. Right, you're first. I like the song. <laughs> yeah? I like the video. You so. didn't like the video. I what? did. You did. You like them both? Yeah. Great. Yeah. What about you, Martina? I like the song, but I don't like the video that much. No? No. You notice in accordance with your songs, Smelly Feet, I've still got my, my socks and I haven't put the shoes back on it. <laughs> Mr. President, sir, how do you feel about that bit of down-home stuff there? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. that reminds me about my younger days, <laughs> when Faber and Anna, all those guys was. Yeah. I was listening to Radio Luxembourg and so on and so on. I think it's pretty good. That keeps me younger. <laughs> to does. hear that old style music again. Listen, we'll play it again afterwards for you then, if it keeps you younger. <laughs> That's right. Take a copy home with you. <laughs> I will, thanks a lot. I like them. I like the show, I do. The video too. Great. Now, Kevin, obviously you've produced some of the best videos over the last few years. How do you feel about that video? I know they did it fairly quickly because everyone yeah. said you've got to have a video. I think it was directed by Stevie Wonder, wasn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> was that? Uh, <coughs> Kevin, you're so cruel. Thank you. It, it actually looks like they were trying to parody the 60s in America and they didn't quite get it right. They should have shot it on film for one and it, should, it was a little bit unprofessional and amateur looking. So I didn't really like the video at all. What about for the follow-up? Are you available? Certainly not. <laughs> right, so it's a bit of a... 
for the video, but uh, for the song, which is already in the charts at number 21. Big Daddy's Dancing in the Dark. Uh, you've probably seen this on the television recently, the full seven minutes of it. This is USA for Africa, the American Band Aid. We are done and out, and there seems no hope at all. But if you just believe, there's nowhere we can fall. Well, the thought and feeling behind it unquestionably good, but on the subject of the video and the song, right? That's USA for Africa. Kevin? Very American, isn't it? Very American. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> I think it's good because it's, it's showing what is happening. There's all these big stars together in the studio, and it's very unpretentious and very simple, showing all the artists performing it. But it's a shame it's showing them miming it, which is obvious when they just sort of dissolve away from Bob Dylan mm. as he blows the words completely. Um, the thing that disturbs me about it is the fact that I hear that thousands of pounds worth of champagne and caviar were consumed during the session. Really? Yeah. Which doesn't say a lot for the... Uh... Anyway, we're not really here to judge that. No. But the video. The video good? The song good? Hit over here? The video's not very good, but it works very well. Uh, the song could be a hit, I think. Right. It's the president. So. Yeah, I think that'll be a hit for sure. Yeah? Yes, no doubt. With those people in there, all the top guys and the top women, perfect. Okay, smelly feet. What do you think? Uh... What do you two think about it? Number one over here, maybe? I suppose so. Yeah, yeah I like the video. I like the song. Okay. Did you recognise all the people in it, though? Some of them. Some of them. Right. Okay, well, a thumbs up from you, Kelly. Mm. Well, how can it miss? I mean, with all those people. Exactly. I agree, though. I, the, the video disturbed me because of their lip syncing. I didn't. That's sort yeah, of it's not bother me. Yeah, you think with all those professional people, that's they right. would have a better one. But other than that, it's sort of interesting to see all those. Egos yeah, we'll in one, room. <laughs> in yeah. one room. It's amazing. I think we became uh, egoless for the day. I think. Quincy Jones deserves a, a big uh, right. uh, accolade for that one. But I, I do enjoy the song and the for putting the razzmatazz into yeah. it. Right, Nick. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot else you can do with a video. With this kind of thing, you just show, got to show the people doing it, which is what it works. It's great. It's just very interesting seeing all that. Um, I think Bob Geldof did a better job though. The song. No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Roy, right. no chance of the inviting into this group. No, I'm no, but Nick Kershaw stole my words there. I was just going to say the same thing about Bob Geldof. I think, you know, he got him first. I think he, he did a really good job. Although I like this, I think right. it was great, you know. But, uh... Okay, a thumbs up from you too, Wendy. Yep. I like it, yeah, it's good, and I agree with Kevin. It's about the children, but they're wasting all that money. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thumbs up so far. Awesome. Uh I thought uh, it was nice to see so many stars, but it's. As a video, I thought it was just a celebration of uh, big star status, and it would have been nice if um, the American um, video there had had some of the footage from Ethiopia, which yeah, might have reaffirmed and, and, and banged home the initial. Maybe they you know, could the have reason for the record in the first place. Something. It's not a reason. The record wasn't made just so you could see uh, Michael Jackson's jacket. It was made because um, they're going to send money to uh, Ethiopia. But maybe they're going to sell the video as well, and they feel more people would buy it to give money to Ethiopia if they had those stars on it. That's true. You know, it's an honourable yeah. uh, yeah. concept uh, all along. I ain't criticising okay. that. Finally, Mark. Kind of makes me proud to be British, really. Yeah. It makes makes the English band aid look like an artistic masterpiece. I think. Really. Okay. Hit, of course. Big hit. Yeah. Okay, that's it. USA for Africa. Yes, please, Danny. Must be tea time. I'm talking of tea. Do you notice our tea hasn't turned up yet? Is it? Oh, wonderful. What can we say? Oh, we are getting on with it. Uh, right. <laughs> I love that for nothing, you know. Uh, the third one, Stainsby Girls. This is Chris Rea, and I feel this could well be his biggest hit to date.
Stainsby Girls, that's Chris Rea, his new single. Where should we start this time? Let's start with Mark. Um, I would have rather watched 30 seconds of TV commercials, I think, than that. It would have been more entertaining. Good point. One Exciting. I thought that one was going to be a belter, but I don't think there was an original idea in it. In the I thought video that was song. a. I don't want to do a downer, but I thought it was a complete waste of time. The video or the song? The video. Right. The video. Okay, Wendy. No, I didn't like it. No? No, the song, no, the video. Sorry, Chris, if you're watching at home. <laughs> Roy? No, I'd say I, it started well, but it just, it just gradually eased off for me, unfortunately. Not too keen on that one at all. Nick, you're grabbing the gong there. No, no, sorry. Um, yeah, you think an artist of his status would be able to come up with something better than that, or people around him would be able to come up with something better than that. But I love his voice anyway, I just listen to him more. What about the song? Yeah, it's good. I mean, he's, he's written better ones, but uh, it's good. Okay, Kelly. Well, I wasn't uh, probably a chauvinistic thing to say, but I always like looking at beautiful women, so I love... I didn't really see too much of the song or him, but I did see the, uh, the ladies. I enjoyed it for that. You haven't had to go with this all point. I know you're dying to. But other than that, you know... <laughs> no. I know you're dying for a point. Okay, okay. <laughs> Best one ever. Girls, <laughs> what about you? I like that one. Not too keen on that song. No? No. Do you always think the same? Sometimes. <laughs> no, yes. Sometimes. Yes, sometimes, no. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm still waiting for see the women in there. <laughs> but this, uh, okay, I like the song. There was some power in it. The way he was playing his guitar, old time sound. I like it. The video was not that good, but the song I like. Kevin, I thought it was a desperate video, desperately bad. It was the kind of video that people say, "Listen, Chris, you've got to make a video. It doesn't matter what's in it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You just got to make a video to compete." And that's how it comes over: dull, predictable, and riddled with cliches. Okay, a bit of a. <laughs> Bit of a. Well, well, come on, Kelly. Okay, here we go. Much better.